This is amazing. What if you can do function calling in Gemini large language model? What if you can integrate that in your Python application? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about function calling in Gemini large language model. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Coming to using Gemini API using Vertex AI. We've already covered this in a previous video, which I will link that in the description below. As a quick summary, we imported the generative model. We defined the model name. We initiated the chat and send the question to the chat model. Now I'm going to run this code. The question is, what is the stock price of Apple? So in your terminal, Python function calling dot pi and click enter. And here is the response. As an AI language model, I don't have real time access to the stock market and cannot provide the stock price of Apple. This is when the function calling come in. You can integrate your own application. You can integrate your own function in Gemini. How can we do that? In this image, we can see already we have initiated our model and we are sending prompt to Gemini model. But now we are going to add extra one more step, which is function calling. We're going to install Y finance. This is required to get the real time stock price. So in this, we are going to create an application to get the real time stock price and integrate that in Gemini using function calling. So as a first step, you are importing Y finance as YF. Next, we are going to add function declaration, part and tool. These are required to perform function calling. Next, we are going to write the get stock price function. This function get the ticker symbol and then use that to get the latest stock price. Next, we need to write function definition. So I'm going to add a tools variable. The function is tool, which we have already declared at the top. And this is the way you define the function, function declarations and sending the list of functions. So here we are passing only one function, which is get stock price. And we are defining the properties. Ticker is the only parameter. For example, by providing AAPL, it will automatically give us the stock price of Apple. Now we're going to add these tools in the generative model function. Now we have completed model initialization and sending a prompt. The third step is to check the function calling. In this, we are getting the function calling from the response we received. Now we're going to print function call and also let's see the response. I'm going to delete this. In your terminal, Python function calling dot pi and click enter. And here is the response. So we receive the function call with the Apple symbol AAPL and the full response. And now we need to parse this, run the function and send the value back to Gemini. In this step, we are checking if there is a function calling happening or not. If it is happening, then we are processing that and sending back the response to Gemini. Let's try to write that in coding. So here we are going to add the list of functions, which is get stock price and check it against the received response. If the received function name contains get stock price, then get the arguments that is a symbol and then run the function using this. This will automatically run the get stock price function, retrieve the stock price of Apple. And now we need to send that back to Gemini. So to do that, response is equals chat dot send message. We are using the part from function response and sending the function name that is get stock price and the and also the value which we received by running the get stock function. Finally, chat response, we are getting the value and then printing the response. Else, we are printing the chat response without function calling. So here we check if a function calling is initiated. If it is initiated, then we'll automatically run the function send the result back to Gemini. If function calling is not initiated, then it will automatically print the default response, which we received from step two. As we have seen here, initially we are sending the prompt. If a function calling is initiated, then it will come to function calling and then print the results. If function calling is not initiated, it will directly print the results. As a quick summary, we created get stock price function. This will automatically get the stock price using Yahoo Finance. Then we are defining the tools and passing these tools to the generative model tools. Next, we are checking if function calling is initiated by Gemini. If it is initiated, then run the function 
and send the response back to Gemini. If no function calling is initiated, just print the original response. That's it. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, python function calling.py and click enter. So we can see function calling got initiated and we got the answer. The current stock price of Apple is $197.57. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate your own function, own program into Gemini. I'm going to create more videos in regards to Gemini. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.